Hello, my name's Tom Palmer and I'm a children's author and this is my World Book Day 2022 assembly and I thought I'd come here to do the, um, the assembly this year for World Book Day because this is a really special building um, on the other side of this canal that you can just see there. Um, this, if you've been here, you might recognise it. This is the Anne Frank house. So I'll just lift it up so you can have a proper look. That is the house in which Anne Frank lived the last years, months and years of her life um, before the Nazis came and took her away. Um, and that is where she wrote most of um, her book, her diary. Um, and the reason that I'm doing the, my assembly um, from here is because when I do school visits, I often get asked what my favourite book is or who my favourite author is. Um, and I usually say um, Anthony Horowitz, Rosemary Sutcliffe, um, and I say Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte as well. But recently, I've, I've reread re this book. I've read it twice in the last um, in the last year or two because of a book I'm working on at the moment, and um, this this has been really helping me and I've come to realize now that this is now my favorite book um, I just wanted to I wanted to use this assembly to say why because I think there's, it's 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 a real there's something really important about this book that I think I want to talk about which we we, we know this book this book this book is, is so famous um, mainly because it's about a girl who wrote a diary while she was in there um, hiding in the secret annex um, and she wrote her diary about her experiences and um, hiding from the Nazis um, during the, the German occupation of Holland in the Second World War um, and it's a famous book for that reason because um, because that that diary is a record of what happened to her and um, and and that's and and also we know what happened to her in the end um, tragically horribly her and um, most of her family um, were taken away and murdered in the Nazi concentration camps. Um, but I, I've chosen this book as my favourite book, and I realise now this is my favourite book because of because of the book itself. Um, obviously, I I think deeply about the what happened to Anne Frank, and I think deeply about what this story means in in history and what it means um, for all of us today. But I'm thinking about it today, talking about it today as a book. I think this is a work of, of amazing genius. This is by a girl who was 13, 14, 15. Um, and she was hiding away from the world, like she, she got to see only very few people. Um, and, and yet she wrote this amazing book. And for me, the, the, the genius about this book is, is sort of twofold. Um, it's the characters, because um, I think the characters in the book are fantastic. Obviously, they're based on real people. There's Anne, there's her sister, and um, there's the other people who come to live in the annex with them. There's a mother and the father. But but I think the way she writes about those characters is amazing. Particularly, I, I think when we talk about characters in books, we think, oh, let's let's we study characters, don't we? When we're doing books, we think, who are the main characters? What are they like? Um, why are they doing what they're doing? But I I think even more importantly, when I'm reading a book and writing a book. Is, is characters and their relationships. Um, what is Anne's relationship like with her dad? How is it different to like it was with her mum? She she really looked up to, to her dad and um, she had a lot of respect for him. Whereas with her mum, she was she's quite hot and cold on her mum. She gets quite irritated with her mum. Um, and, and the same with her sister and the other people in the house. It's, she really characterises them wonderfully, but that's through the, her relationship with them. I, I think when I'm reading a book, a really really good book or a story it's it's when there's a character and they have relationships with other characters how those relationships develop that is, is what makes a book really interesting to me um, and then there's something else about this book that I want to say why I love it why I love it so much um, and it, it's hard to say it especially here because this is where this is the street where you can see those people milling about there where she was dragged out in um, into the into the street and taken away to the concentration camps where eventually she she died um, and but I, I genuinely think this book is funny and um, it the way she describes people and the way she characterizes them and um, living in the annex with them I think she's really really funny um, and I 
it's hard to say that if you do you know what I mean because this is supposed to be a serious book this is this is supposed to be a book this is definitely a book we we're supposed to read and think hard and feel sad about and and worry about and make us think about the past and how we could human beings can treat other human beings in the present um, and yet it is funny and I, I think it's got all that and that that's why I love this um, that's why I love this book so much and and the reason I've been reading it recently I've read it I think I've read it four times in my life um, twice quite recently is because the book I'm working on at the moment is set in Holland um, during the time that Anne was in in captivity there and the, the, the experiences of my character in my book um, that I've been working on are very different to Anne um, but reading about a girl who is exactly the same age from her point of view what she was interested in and um, obviously like we know she's very interested in film stars and, and and stuff like that that I think that has really helped me characterize my um, my character in my book and also um, to, to describe the relationships between the characters in my books and and what I'm, I suppose what I'm trying to say is the other reason this is my favorite book is I've learned from it and um, I'm a, a 54 year old man and I'm reading a book by a 15 16 year old girl um, and I have learned so much from her how to write how to character how to describe how to how to define relationships between characters how to be funny as well and I've learned all that from Anne Frank and that is why on this World Book Day 2022 um, I am now saying uh, that this is my new favourite book. Thank you very much for um, listening and I hope you find lots to um, enjoy reading and talk about reading today. Cheers.